Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Polish Poly Juice, Caviar Beads, and Mora 03 Ornaments Plate. I've started off with IMK Peel Ease, and here is the lovely Polish, and this one's called Poly Juice. It is so pretty. Very nice. So I'm going to go in with my first coat, and it's got a really good formula. I don't know that I've ever had a Polish from Polish that had a bad formula. So, um... This one's a winner in my book. It's very pretty. It's got so much shimmer in it. It's like a cranberry color. And I love that shimmer. Kept in my free edge there. And here we go. Hi, Woody. How you doing? And there we go with our second coat. Like I said, this one's got a really nice formula. I'm never... Never disappointed with these. And Woody's back again. I am going to top it with a Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat. I'm going to seal it in and let it do its thing. There we go. Capping that free edge again. And this is the Morber Stamping Plate 03 Ornaments. I'll be using my Beauty Scraper and my Shell We Stamp Stamper today. It's a very sticky, smushy one. And I've got Maniology's Coconut. I'm gonna just use this image right here. I figured it would work today. I had lots of images I was kind of scoping out for this, but I ended up going with this one because I still wanna see that base color. And I am only stamping on three nails today. I did my thumb and I'm gonna do my middle and ring finger. So we've got some, you know, just colored nails. So I'm cleaning that plate with pure acetone, and I clean that stamper off on my lint roller. And we're just going to do the same stamp on my other nail. And I like using this stamper. It picks up so well. Uh, the only thing is you can't see through it. So I am going to top the stamping off with the Smudge Free Top Coat from Maniology. And that coconut kind of looked like it turned a little gray looking over this polish, which I was totally fine with. So I'm going to pour some of those caviar beads out into a little bowl so that I can reclaim what I don't use. And I'm going to do this part one nail at a time. I've already done the other nails. But I'm going to put a nice thick coat of the top coat on. And then we're going to start fiddling with these caviar beads. Now, I did get a tip from my friend Jill that uh, sometimes when you top coat over these beads, they will change color. So I just want you to be aware of that if you are planning on trying them out or if you do use them. Uh, on this particular manicure, I did not have that issue. So, you know, it's just throwing it out there. So I didn't really have any, like, real design plan going on with this. I'm just kind of willy-nilly adding these to different spots on the nail, just kind of in clusters. And I, I thought it turned out really well. Um, I will play with these again sometime. Now you can use the caviar beads as like an accent nail and cover the whole nail in these caviar beads, but I, I didn't want to go that route. I wanted to do like accent nails. So there it is in motion. I hope you enjoyed this. Now I have decided to top coat them because I was like, these beads ain't never going to stay on my nails like this. So I am kind of dancing some top coat thickly around and over and all amongst these caviar beads here. And I'm going to cap my edge again just because that's how I do it. And we're going to do some more polish in motion so that you can see. Hi, Woody. He's so good. So there it is, all done and top coated. Can't even really tell they're top coated. So leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about these. And I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.